Welcome back to Endangered Species Spotlight. This week we are talking about the black bat flower. First of all, look me in the eyes and tell me that this is not the coolest fucking plant you have ever seen. Like, look at how fucking insane this plant looks. It is absolutely nuts and I am obsessed with it. This is the most goth badass plant I have ever seen in my life. I look at it. So the black bat flower is native to a bunch of areas in Southeast Asia, particularly places in China. It is a tropical plant, so it likes very, very specific environmental conditions. So it is very hard to cultivate and grow outside of its native habitat just because it likes such specific conditions that's very hard to replicate in captivity in like greenhouses and other places you grow plants. I know there's a word for it. But yeah, it is very, very hard to grow in captivity, which is why it's very rare. It also only blooms from like October, November months, which is not a very like large window. Like it's not the smallest, but it also doesn't give quite a lot of time. So most of the time it does self pollination because pollinators just aren't super attracted to it. It does apparently do some mimicry of carrion plants. So it attracts flies and other stuff that eat decomposing matter, but again, most of its pollination comes through self-pollination. Most of the threats to the black bat flower come from climate change causing habitat loss just because they like such specific environmental conditions. If the conditions are disrupted, then they don't grow very well. So if the temperature increases or decreases too much, if the moisture levels, so climate change is really impacting these plants, as well as other habitat loss from like industrialization, farms, all that. The habitat that these guys like to exist best in is decreasing quite a bit, which is causing the endangered. Also, the plants tend to be used in traditional Chinese medicine because they do have some cytotoxic effects, which makes it decently effective in treating cancer. However, again, using these plants for medicine does decrease the population, but I don't think that's a super significant amount. It's not like they're, as far as I'm aware, it's not like they're taking the entire plant and like killing the whole thing, just harvesting some of the flowers or seeds or something. So that's not like a significant threat to them. The main thing is climate change. I actually couldn't really find any conservation efforts for this, but I don't know. If, if you find something, maybe link it in the comments, but I personally couldn't find any links to conservation efforts. But regardless, it is a very, very cool looking plant and I am fully obsessed with it.